name is Mark Gillum. I'm the GM at the Waco Hippodrome. I've been here for about six, seven months already, and um, really uh, hard work, but it's a big building, and it's fun with movies and concerts and events, and it's a, just a fantastic place to work. Uh, main duties of a general manager for me is customer service and making sure uh, all the customers are taken care of from the moment they walk in the door to the moment they leave. So it's, it's not your average restaurant where people sometimes just come in and grab a drink or about to eat and they're in and out in an hour. You know, if they come in to watch a movie or an event, I mean, a, a movie can be up to two and a half hours long and we recommend that uh, customers come in 30 minutes early while the lights are on so they can see the menu and order some food and hopefully get that food right before the movie starts. So uh, average customer can be in here for three to four hours sometimes. So it's, it's a lot of hard work to making sure they're satisfied. Like I said, we do weddings, uh, galas, balls, rehearsal dinners, anything you can think of. It's especially around this time of year, Christmas, Thanksgiving, there's a lot of parties. So it's definitely something different every day. So it's not your normal nine to five. It's obviously not nine to five. We're open 365 days a year. Uh, what surprised me the most about starting at the Hippodrome probably was the amount of stairs in the building. Um, like I said before, the elevator has been down for the last four days, which has been a big inconvenience for any of us trying to go back up to the kitchen. So you, you really don't realize how many stairs are in this building until you work here and you have to go up and down on like we did this weekend. So um, I think this building is actually like 29,000 square feet. So it's, it's a lot of ground to cover, like kitchen on the third floor and your balcony and then your dining room and bar on the second, orchestra, green room, the office on the first. And as soon as you get to one location, you get radioed to come to another location. So it's, we all call it the big hamster wheel. So what I like best about the Waco Hippodrome is that it's probably a different kind of challenge every day. Like I said before, it's, it's, it's something new every day, whether it's catering or a big reservation, a different movie, different people that are coming in to see all your different movies or plays or concerts. Um, like Robert Earl Keen is one of my favorite musicians through high school and college and he's coming to perform here on December 9th. So I'm super excited about that. So it's not too many jobs you get to, you know, get to have where your favorite musician comes and sings at your place. A lot of people might not know, but there's a tunnel that runs from that green room underneath all the way up to our museum. Uh, it's probably 50, 75 yards long, and I haven't challenged that tunnel myself, but a lot of people will go through it because it's only about three feet tall. But it's pretty cool because it has a secret hidden door in our museum where you have to pull glass out and pull the um, wood out from underneath it just when you crawl up. So it's, you'll get a little dirty while you're doing it as well. So. Someone should come to the Hippodrome for the first time. Basically, in my opinion, is for the history. This place opened in 1914, and uh, if you Google the Hippodrome, just look up some old pictures and some of the old acts they have here. I think the first night they opened, they had a live seal and a five-piece band, and they've had animals on stage. They've had John Wayne, Elvis Presley, uh, a lot of a lot of famous people walking in and out of these doors.